I think all of us are shaped and changed by art as we grow up. You know, it, it, it starts with our earliest memories. As time goes on, there are obviously iconic images that become part of your understanding of the world. And I think that's something that, you know, we want to make sure we are honoring in the process of designing and, and building the, the Presidential Center, because we want kids on the south side of Chicago or the west side of Chicago to have access to art and to understand that they too are art makers and that they can create amazing work. Part of what makes Chicago a world-class city is its cultural and artistic institutions. And we hope that the Obama Presidential Center uh, will be viewed as part of this amazing tapestry of institutions. We want to be a living, breathing center of activity and a place where people can gather and learn and debate and connect and be inspired. And art does that. And so we're really excited about the incredible number of artists who've expressed an interest in working with us. Mr. Hunt, what an honor to, to be with you over Zoom. Very good. It's great to see you. Well, and, and vice versa, and I'm so glad, you know, that this is a possibility for you, yeah. When I was born, my parents lived in Woodlawn, 63rd and Everhart. I think I was about four years old when we moved to Inglewood. There was a Southside Community Arts Center. I took a few classes there. As a kid, my mother took me and my sister to museums, you know, both the Art Institute, the Field Museum. What I saw in those museums made me more aware of various possibilities. I had spent a lot of time, you know, taking art classes. And then when I got a scholarship to go to the Art Institute, then I said, okay, I'm going to be an artist, and in particular, a sculptor. I set up in my parents' basement a little studio to work, then started to exhibit my work and art fairs, and I'd give another boost to my career. I guess it was in the 60s where African Americans were, you know, in a lot of areas, trying to make inroads. And there were people that picketed and petitioned at the Museum of Art and Art and many other museums to exhibit, you know, works of African-Americans. It's just beyond the area where the Ida B. Wells public housing was. The concept was to create a sculpture of some scale and, you know, to be somewhat impressive. There are three columns that come up that support the sculpture. And then within the columns, plaques that have images of her and some of her choice quotations. I have been a, a huge admirer of your work for a long time, and Michelle has as well. You know, to have one of the, the greatest artists Chicago ever produced, <laughs> to participate in what we hope is an important cultural institution uh, for the city and the South Side. Uh, it feels like a pretty good fit to me. When I was approached by the Obama Presidential Center, I was delighted. It's a real honor and a privilege to have this opportunity. The piece for the library is an elaboration from a piece that I did for an award to supporters of the United Negro College Fund. So it's a book and it opens up and there's a bird that comes out singing. I want them to see this book bird, as I call it, as something that encapsulates the progress one can make through reading and study. This book bird helps you to take wings yourself. It's a beautiful image. Richard, I will tell you that you know it immediately spoke to me as a powerful image that 
fits the space and uh, is a message obviously that's consistent with what we're trying to do with the Presidential Center generally and the library in particular. It, it speaks to the space in a way that would be compelling to visitors and to the residents of the community alike. There are a range of possibilities for art on public buildings or in public places to commemorate, to inspire. I think art can enliven and kind of set certain standards for what's going on in, in and around it and within the community. Now, here within Woodlawn is this world-class place that kids can go to. It's an opportunity for a community to absorb information and inspiration from something that's right in their midst.